Have you watched some of my videos or videos of other Let's Players, such as Kukoski and other greats? Have you seen them playing XCOM or Terror from the Deep or other classic DOS games and wanted to try that yourself? Or have you tried it and you're having problems with recording DOS box games properly? Well, fear not, because now I, Kilgacon, will tell you how to set up DOS box and get flawless recording for your very own. The first thing you need to do is get DOSBox itself. I presume you've already done so, but if not, you just need to download it from the DOSBox website, as you can see, and just put it somewhere, install it, you know the drill. Um, it will, however, dump the configuration file, which we'll need to play with, in a really obscure location in your Documents and Settings folder. What I do is I have a config file uh, copied into the local directory and I use a shortcut to run DOSBox and you can explore that if you wish but it isn't necessary it's just for something I like to do. But anyway getting into the config file itself that's the important part of running DOSBox it's the the internals. Um, really there are three sections of interest for us when recording videos using DOSBox. Um, the first is the auto exec section this is where you put the commands that you execute automatically every time DOSBox is run. Things such as mounting the virtual drive for DOSBox as well as your CD-ROM um, are important and I also clear the screen so it doesn't clog the whole thing up. The next interest um, so section of interest sorry, is the CPU section. This allows us to set how many cycles we want see the game of DOSBox to run at. Um, and it really does change depending on what you're playing with. If you're playing a game such as Covert Action or um, Word Rescue or one of those really, really old games, then you want it set to add a fixed value of 3000, as you can see in the image here. If you're trying for Martian Dreams, I use 6000 there. Um, for Terror from the Deep, I use 30,000. And for other more advanced games, you may need to get even higher. Um, that's just what I've found works for me. You need to just have a, a good value so it doesn't lag when you're playing it. That's just in normal playing, not recording. Um, but then the, the third section of interest is the most important one of all, the render section. Hidden here is the frame skip uh, line. The scalar one, don't really worry about that. It lets you make it look nicer, but it doesn't actually come through on recording, so don't bother. Um, but the frame skip one, um, by default, it'll be set to, I mean, I think it's set to zero by default, but I've set mine to two. The problem with having it set to zero frame skip is that DOSBox will capture every single frame that it spits out, you know, as fast as it goes. So at a frame skip of zero, your videos will be spitting out at 70 frames a second, which is far too fast um, for the human eye, and, and most computers can't really record video at that intense rate. Um, so if you set it to two, it comes at a nice uh, about 30 frames a second, which is a lot more manageable. Um, and, of course, your computer could just cope, which is the important thing, to be able to record the, got date, the game of anything you're running in DOSBox properly. And, of course, there is one final thing of, if you're doing a Let's Play like the ones that you can get on my channel, you'll want to record your own voice. You know, have a voice, you know, that. Um, you know, do the funny voices. And that can be done using the program Audacity. What I do is I set Audacity recording before I get into DOSBox and then as I get my fingers ready on alt Control f 5 which is the re default recording button in DOSBox I say the words commencing recording in 3, 2, 1, now and as I say the word now I press Control alt f 5 and when I'm finished press Control alt f 5 again then I just in Movie Maker or whatever you use um, just put together the audio file that you get from Audacity as well as the video that DOSBox spits out and then you can you know save that and upload it to YouTube or wherever you're, you're dumping it. So yeah that's the process. Um, it's, it's pretty simple once it's started up you know you can get into recording pretty quickly um, and I hope that this has been a helpful video for you. Feel free to post in the comments if you need any advice of any kind. I'm more than happy to encourage people and see them develop better videos and you know just, just continue to make the world happy. Um, so good luck to you all, God bless and um, keep in touch.